This is question 11 in the ACT math practice exam I'm working through, and this one has to do with some coordinate geometry. Let's get started. Each side of a square is 4 inches long. A vertex of the square is located at 2, 1 on a coordinate grid marked in 1 inch units. What could be the location of another vertex of the square? All right, well, to just define vertexes quickly, so a vertex is just the corner of a square, right? It's just any one of the corners of a square, right, uh, or of a shape. So this uh, vertex is located on this coordinate grid, and it's located at 2, 1. So the, so the coordinates are always given in x and then y. So 2 is x and 1 is y. So if we look over here, here's the x-axis, and here's the y-axis, and our point is right here, over 2 and up 1, right? So if our vertex is there, the question is, what could be the location of another vertex of the square? And we have to remember that this is a four inch or a yeah, four inch sided square. All the sides are four inches. So let's look at the first option here. They say, let's start at the bottom. They say uh, E, uh, because we, we really have to go through each answer to make sure uh, that we're finding you know a vertex of the square and making sure the other ones uh, are not uh, fitting the bill. So let's look at the first one, uh, E. Well, the coordinates there are 5, 2, so I'll mark a few more uh, a few more hash marks here, and I should put, probably put a few more in here as well, down here. And I'm doing this just to visualize it, and uh, it's helpful on the test sometimes to draw your own coordinate grid and give yourself a sense of, of what it's going to look like, uh, what the problem looks like visually. So anyway, uh, so it's over 5 on the x-axis and up 2 on the y-axis, and that puts us right here. And so let's see. So the, we always have to have basically a, a four inch sides for the square. So we have to see, does this work? Well, this kind of forms a little right triangle here, right? So it forms a right triangle. And that right triangle uh, would have sides of, I'm just going to redraw it down here, would have sides of three. So it's three inches. And that's how you can probably see it's three units here. And then it's uh, just one on the side. Well. A right triangle, of course, in order to figure out a hypotenuse, and this is really what we're trying to figure out, you can do the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if we do that, we get 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. And we know that um, uh, you know c squared has to equal 16 if we want you know the hypotenuse to equal 4. So, But 1 squared is just 1, and then 3 squared is 9, and that equals 10. So we would need c squared to equal 16 in order for this uh, side to be 4. So that doesn't work. So e is out, all right? And let's look at d then. And actually, you know what? Let me uh, let me just erase this a little bit here so I kind of get that out of the way. All right, great. So d says uh, negative 2, so going back this way on the x-coordinate, or x-axis, and then up to, so that would be right here. All right. Well, again, this forms a right triangle as well, right? And I'll uh, redraw that. Get rid of those lines. I'll redraw that down here. So that would be four on the bottom, and then it would be two on the side. You know, if you look at it there. Uh, so that would make this hypotenuse four. And if you know the properties of right triangles, you know that the hypotenuse has to be the longest side. And so it would it would match this bottom leg, and, and that can't be. So D is out. All right. Again, always trying to find a vertex that is uh, you know that would work for a four inch square like this. This one would not. All right. So let's get rid of that point. Uh, what about something like C? So keep it at two. So two on the x coordinate, but then go down negative four. Well, if you went down negative four, you would be five away. This this would be five away from this original point. Not possible with a square like this. So a vertice, a vertices, you know, one of the, one of the corners of the square cannot be, uh, f you know, five inches away. So that one's out. All right. Let's look at B. So B says uh, two and then two three, right? And so if I go over two and up three. Then I'm right here, and that's not going to work because then I'm just two inches away from the other, this original vertex, so that won't work. So it's probably A, but let's double check it. If you go over negative two on the x, or two, the two negative two on the x axis, and then down to negative three, that puts us right here. 
All right. Well, uh, so could this be a vertices? Well, a, a vertex of the square. Let's see. Well, if we went down four this way, that would put us at two negative three, and that would be a four inch side. And then we could go over four to negative two, negative three, which was the point we were just putting in. And then let's see if we go up again to negative two, one, and over to our original vertex, vertex, then we do have a square that is four sides, or sorry, has four inch sides. So it turns out that A is correct.